Hi everyone, my name is Alina and I am so excited to share with you how I made this flower. I prepared a tutorial on how to make such giant rose and this is the first part. In this video we will color and shape form to make ideal petals for our giant rose. I use 2 mm form, size is 50 cm, which is just perfect for giant flowers petals. Firstly, we need to cut foam into squares of 20 and 25 cm. Foam is one of the most comfortable materials to work with and really easy to cut. Just fold it in half and cut. In total, we need 30 petals for our flower. 10 petals 20 cm and 20 petals 25 cm. Now we have two identical strips, so I fold them in half and cut. Now we have two squares, 25 cm each, and then just repeat it with the rest form. When we are finished with squares, we are ready to transform them into petals. Just round the corners as I show. While I am cutting our petals, a few words why I love to work with foam. First of all, it's much more durable and lightweight. But the main thing is that it's waterproof and you don't need to be afraid of rain, really. You can even go with such flower to ocean or to a waterfall shooting. And of course, it's wonderful for weddings, especially for outdoor weddings when you don't know if the rain would happen. Here is our first petal. Let's color it to make it even more beautiful, like on this example, which I already prepared for you. The next step is to shape it, so it will look like petal in nature. Here is a little tip on how to cut foam to the right size, really fast. In order to make 20 cm size, don't draw with pen or pencil. They can make foam dirty and you won't be able to use it anymore. You can draw with something sharp, even scissors could work. Just make slight trays on which you can easily cut the right size. I need 20 cm. Here is how squares look in comparison. Now we cut petal shapes making the corners round. Same for all other squares. Here is how our petals look, now let's color them. It's very easy to color foam and it holds pigments very good. I have white table, so I will use a protective mat to keep it away from paints. 
I use acrylic paints because they are easy to find and work great with foam. Usually I mix them to get more unique shade. You would need a glass of water and some paint. Just don't use much water. The more paint you take, more colorful petal would be. I mixed two paints and here is the color I got. It's just a few shades darker than my foam. To make a beautiful gradient effect we need a sponge. If you don't have one, you can use even a paper towel. Just gently blend the color from the edges of the petal to the center, mixing the paint and lightly going through the petal. I like to put even two layers, because this way color would be more bright, creating a beautiful 3D effect. Then carefully shade the paint and stretch it to the center. You need to do it quickly before the paint dries. And the same for back side. Don't worry about the edge of petal, just easily paint it, because it already has beautiful shades due to previous coloring of front and back sides. So now we are almost done. It takes time, so I prepared petals before ahead and here is how they look. You can put them all together on top of each other, because acrylic paint dries really fast. Now the next step, we are going to create a beautiful curry shape for our petals, like in nature. For this I used a glass globe, you can find it on Amazon or Home Depot store. For big petals I used 15 cm diameter and for small ones 9 cm diameter and a heat gun. For 2 mm foam I use temperature 350. Be careful with it, because it becomes quite hot really fast and can slide off the table. It happens to me a few times. Let's start with a smaller 20 cm petal. At first we need to preheat it with the heat gun. You should start from the middle and then turn it over because when you preheat petal from both sides, it becomes more flexible and stretchy. You will see when petal is ready. In the middle, foam will change color to a little darker, then quickly move it to the top of globe and it will take its form. For better shape, repeat it a few times. And remember, you can stretch the foam only when it's hot, because when it will cool down, it won't be so stretchy and could easily tear up when you're trying to stretch it. After we shape the middle of petal, we need to shape the edges. For this we need to heat them up. When heated it will be soft, easy and flexible. Now carefully stretch it with your fingers, in the same time wrapping them up. This way we receive a very beautiful curve, just like real rose petal. 
and repeat the same for all our pedals. Important moment when working with the heat gun. Some of them don't turn off immediately, only in 5-7 seconds after it's turned off, because this way extends life of the gun. First pedals are ready. Comment if you have any questions and I will include the answers in next part of this video. In the meantime, I will be shaping the other petals. This way petals look very realistic, so I couldn't resist and try a few petals as a head or mega size brush. But let's keep it for the next time video. Now we need to finish shaping. The bigger curve, the more airy our flower will be. And finally, all our petals are ready. Here is how detailed they are. All these beautiful colors, gradient and so cute curves. In the next video, I will show how to assemble them into the flower. Follow me to not miss it. See you soon. Have a wonderful day and a crafty mood. Bye-bye.